Hi, pussies. Welcome back to Therapus and happy, happy Valentine's Day. If you're spending it alone with friends or with a significant other, I hope you have the best day ever because I won't. Actually, maybe I will be because for Valentine's Day, I am going to dinner with Peyton and Kennedy because we are the only single ones in our friend group and we are going to drink and have a Valentine's Day. And for Valentine's Day, I wanted to intro the section where I call pussies because a lot of you guys have been when you go to my website passapuss.com and submit it tell me what's wrong you've been leaving your numbers for me to call you and this pussy named Layla submitted her number and I just like want to call her and wish her happy valentine's day even though it's a little far in advance Ugh, I'm gonna be sad if she doesn't answer and then answers later Hi! Oh my god, happy Valentine's Day. I'm shooting my Valentine's Day episode. Shut the fuck up. I'm literally out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, stop! I love you! Oh my god. Wait, do you- I am literally at work. Wait, it's a good reason to leave. Wait, say hi to all the pussies. You're on Therapus. Oh my God. Well, I'm obsessed with you. I hope you have the best Valentine's Day. Fuck you. Okay. I love you. Bye, Layla. Bye. Today we have one of my favorite people on the internet, Madeline RG, coming on. I'm so goddamn fucking excited. The second I saw she was in LA, I was like, oh, so I need her to come on Therapist. And that she is. I think she's about to get here. I'm really excited to just talk about love and Valentine's Day and friendship and puss and London with her. I'm so excited to hear about her life in London because if you pussies don't know, that is where I want to legit live and raise my kids. So, okay, guys, welcome back to Therapist. I'm here with I'm actually so excited. Sorry. I'm here with Madeline Argie all the way from London. Hi, Madeline. Hello. Thank you for coming on Therapus. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Are you liking are you liking Los Angeles? Yeah, I am. Very much. What are you, do you are you like missing London at all? Or are you like happy to like be out gone for a sec? I don't think I've ever missed London in my life. Ever? No. I miss my dog. You don't like it's too cold for you? <sighs> it's too cold. It's too grey. The people are mean. People are kind of intense there. Yeah, they're really rude. So I like to do this thing on therapi- a therapist where we talk about what we're pissed about called therapist. Is there anything that's pissed you off since you landed in L.A.? I was trying to think of something and th- no. Uh, of course. L.A. is so nice. People are friendly. What? <laughs> you think people are friendly? <laughs> what? Yeah. Everyone's Fuck. nice to me. People are okay, nice. I need to unpack this in therapy, I think. Like actual therapy because I'm always like people are so mean here. Really? Yeah. Maybe I just omit bad vibes. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Maybe. Ma- I don't know. <sighs> but, like, I've not really gone that many places. I feel like I've only gone places where people are, like, paid to be nice to me, like the coffee shop. And- uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, where'd you get coffee? I was going to swipe up and give you, like, all my racks, but then I was like, she probably already has a million. No, I don't. I've been going to Alfred's every single day. You like it? It's okay. Okay, you should go to the best coffee in L.A., and tell me if you agree with this, is Mario. Mario. It's the one in the arts district, and then it's in, um, yeah, Beverly Hills. It is. The, it's right by your hotel. Right by. I mean, like ten minutes. It is the best coffee you'll get in LA. Like Maru really? Coffee. Really. Yeah, it's the best. Okay. Or Community Goods is great too. Is that I've heard that name before. It's really good. It's like small, and the line can go out the door. But like in the winter, it's fine because you're cold. Cute. It's good, right? Okay. I'll try it. It's, I went to Earth. I didn't really love it though. Oh, I would have steered you clear. Yeah. Really. Yes. I. I'm the biggest Earth Cafe hater in the fucking country. The biggest till I die. I don't give a fuck. Till I die, that place is despicable. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. It is so bad. What do you, what did you get there? Sorry, let me calm down. What did you get there? I got the iced vanilla latte and a burrito. How was it? The burrito was really good. Soggy, really? A little bit like soggy, but a little See, bit. Pff- I fucking can't. You guys, this place, I used to get bamboozled into going by my friends. And they would be, and I just, their salads were dry. They had this disgusting 
taco salad that actually tasted like I don't even want to go there because I'm not going to gross anyone out if they're eating while watching this. But like, I fucking hate that place. But I'm so glad you had a good experience. <laughs> Ooh, I just got really heated. And I'm sorry to anyone that owns Earth Cafe. I'm sure you're lovely. Um, but that's, I hate it. Are you allowed to say things like that on podcasts? Like, it's fucking disgusting. I hate it. You yeah. hate Celsius? Uh-huh. Tell me why. Well, I just tried one this morning, and I, like... It's like, did your heart beat out of your skin? Like, I'm still having palpitations, but I feel hungover. Yep. Yeah. (laughs) It's fucking awful. It's horrible. Yeah. It is like... Well, I've started drinking this thing called Fast Twitch, and I drank one before this, actually, if anyone's able to tell. (laughs) And it is like... um, an Adderall in a can, like, it actually, like, my skin is, like, jumping out because I, it's, like, 300 milligrams of caffeine. Yum. It, right? I think so, too. And I only drink it before I work out, which is when I think I need to keep working, but I just drank one. So if anyone notices, I'm just a little over-emotional today. That's why. <laughs> it's because of that. Do you have a preferred energy drink now that we're on the topic? No, I don't drink energy drinks. And like, you just went for a Celsius today. Yeah. I just thought, I don't know. I wanted to try it. It was in my little mini fridge, so I just went for it. They have those in the hotel mini fridge now? It's like the that most is LA PR. mini fridge I've ever what's seen. What's in it? Ah, what's in it? It's so full of shit. It's like three wellness shots. Like yes. <laughs> and then like sugar-free raw cocoa chocolate. Yes. <laughs> no. I know. I know. I was so disappointed when I got that. I saw it. I was like, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> This is a sick joke. I know. If I was traveling, that would be the last thing I'd want to see. But if I was, like, booking a hotel room for me personally tonight and they had, like, Celsius and, like, sugar-free snacks, I'd be like, yeah. Like, fuck yeah. This is what I needed. But, like, I definitely get that if I had traveled somewhere and that was in their mini fridge, I'd probably bomb the place. (laughs) Yeah. Honestly. Completely valid reaction. That's fine. Like, I'd freak the fuck out, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, if I was traveling, that's just, like, the last thing I'd want. I'm so sorry. Yeah. They also, like, I don't know if I can say this, but, like, they won't, you know, like, they leave, like, fresh fruit out sometimes in hotels. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I kind of thought that maybe, like, the cleaners would take it out. Like, I've probably (gasps) not. (laughs) They left it in there. It's been over a week. It's literally molding. And I'm like. I don't know what the fuck to do with it. And you have to ask them, take this shit out of my room. But I never see them. Like, I've not seen any of the, because I'm always out when they come by. So Go like, to the front desk, be like, this is my room number. I'm begging. That's actually such a simple solution to what No, but I get it. Like, I have, I have social anxiety. Like, I do, do you have social anxiety? Not really. Oh, love that for you. I have the yeah. worst, so I get scared of doing stuff like that. But, like, you should just do it. Yeah, I will probably do it. I just, I, like, don't come to solutions. That's my problem. Mm-hmm. Mm. What's your star sign? Cancer. <gasps> I fucking knew it. <laughs> What's I yours? didn't. I just knew it. What's your? It's why we get along. Can I guess? Yeah, I guess. Aries. No. Like Scorpio. Yes. Really? Yes. Nice. I'm a Scorpio with Gemini rising, Gemini moon. <gasps> I, it's like bad and really That's dark. So I oftentimes don't tell people my birth chart because they like actually don't want to be friends with me after I tell them. But yeah, I love Scorpios, but I don't know about Gemini's. Um, no. Uh, no. Gemini's are crazy, but one of my best friends, Cassidy, is a Gemini, and she's the best. So, but Gemini's are a lot. Scorpios are just very like, <laughs> like, ugh, like moody and dark. But like that's why I'm a Gemini rising. I'm so friendly because it's the mask I portray to the world. Yeah, two faced, scary. I yeah, honestly, yeah, and I'm sorry about it. <laughs> I am sorry about it, but there are just situations in which I have to be. Um. Okay. Well, why don't we get into the tell me what's wrong for the day? <gasps> oh my god. How could I forget? Because it's Valentine's Day. For you. <laughs> because you're my Valentine. Happy Valentine's Day, pussies. Thank you These so much. These are for much. you. While Thank we answer you. the Valentine's Day, tell me what's wrong. This is so romantic. I know. Right there. How do I bring up Valentine's to my situationship? We've been going out for a month. Um, You don't? What? Wait, that's crazy. Sorry. I'm, I mean, you go. Wait, I'm curious. <laughs> is that crazy to do? Yes. Maybe I'm the wrong person. For your situationship, time. you've been seeing each other non-exclusively because you're a situationship for a month, which is what this sounds like. Valentine's Day is the last thing on their mind. Not to be harsh. Why? <laughs> because, like, if they're not exclusive, like, they don't have to celebrate Valentine's Day yet. That is time and money. <gasps> I know. I'm sorry. I'm just you here to, to deliver the truth. better. Look, you got me flowers. We've only just met. Okay, wait, Puck. Maybe bring it up to them, honestly. I, I would. Guess. What would you say? 
where the fuck are we going? I don't know. No, you know what? Actually, I wouldn't because I'd want to see what they would do. Yeah, and in this case, he's not doing anything. Oh, my God. I mean... <laughs> I'm okay, fine. I get, maybe one month is a little bit soon. I think it's a little bit soon. I totally understand the delusion, like beyond belief. Like, cause at, at the end of the day, like what it is, like respectfully, it is delusional, but I get it. Cause I'm also delusional. So like, I'm going to just like let this person down easy. Like he is not thinking about Valentine's day. And I'm so, so sorry about that, but I would not ask him and like maybe make plans with your gal pals. That is so brutal. I know, but it's the truth. Is it? I hate participation medals. And, like, that's what I feel like I'm giving out when I lie. Okay, fine. No, fair enough. Yeah. You know? Shit. Is that too mean? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys. Um, this Maybe isn't... I'm delusional and I didn't even know. I would bite someone if I'd been seeing them for a month and they don't give me anything on Valentine's Day. Well, no, it depends who I'm dating. If it's a girl, I'm expecting something. But if it's a boy. Right, because girls get it. Yeah, girls do get it. Boys don't. The the case in point, para me, <laughs> I prescribe to you the holiday because in the holiday, Kate Winslet, have you seen the holiday? Mm -hmm. She is so unfortunately delusional about that guy she's seeing and she leaves him and he comes running back. So that's what I prescribe to you. Do you have any prescriptions for her? Uh, the holiday is pretty good. You just like the holiday? It. I just watched it for the first time. How did you get through life not watching it? I don't know. And I think I fell asleep for half of it, respectfully. Really? I love Cameron Diaz more than anything, though. And Kate oh Wins God, Winslet. She's so hot. She's, she's so hot. Everything. Yeah. She's filming a new movie right now. Is she? Yes. I'm so excited. Do you know what it's about? No. <laughs> it's with Jamie <laughs> Foxx, though. There was, like, some drama on set. I forget what it was. <clears throat> I think I'm being love bombed. We have been on only four dates, and he already mentions Valentine's and texts me 24-7. Help. This is like, <laughs> this is the other girl's opposite. I know. Love bombed? No. You don't think that's love bombing? I'm insane. So I just feel like that's so valid. Like, I think why would you not? Well, I think that's valid too. It's you've been on four dates and he already mentions Valentine's. Like, that's him being like literally so polite. Hmm. You don't agree? I feel like that's just where you should be. Four mm -hmm. dates. Unless you've gone on like four dates in like, I don't know, a week. That's weird. Then you're being love bombed. Right. So we're needing to know the time frame mm -hmm. for this. We need more information. A little more information. But I don't know if that's love bombed. I think that's really nice. But like the issue with love bombing is I feel like only time can tell. Unless you think there's like red flags that you can see in advance mm -hmm. from love bombing. Yeah. Do you know if, like what are, I've never been in a relationship so I don't know. But like, do you, are there red flags? Like, can you tell when you're being love bombed? I feel like some people are just a bit insane and they like throw themselves in so quickly. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you not like have other things to focus on? Yeah. Like, you know, someone's like, oh my God, he said he loved me. It's been three weeks. I'm like. That's love bombing. Yeah. Even if it's not intentional, like that person's obviously insane. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Why would like, you want someone that loves you after three weeks? Yeah, that is. It's because it's like, I feel like as quickly as they find their love for you, they can lose it. Yeah. So it's like, it has to be like a healthy. Yeah. Sorry. Is that like toxic? I feel like it's true. I prescribe to this girl. What's a movie about getting love bombed? Actually, you know what I prescribe to this girl? I prescribe to her season one, episode one of Girls on HBO because Marnie is actually being treated like a queen by this guy. Have you seen Girls? Mm -mm. Okay, this is like my second day in a row talking about Girls. It is, do you like Sex in the City? Mm -hmm. Okay, it is like a funnier Sex in the City. Okay, cute. Like it is, no, it, actually I'm so addicted to the show, you guys. Like, it is my entire personality trait. So, like, if I start, I won't stop. But, like, you need to watch it. It's on HBO. Okay. We don't get HBO in the UK. Like, I cannot fucking get it anywhere. Like, not even on illegal what? websites. You don't I get know. HBO? Wait, I'm going to have a panic attack. What do you mean? It's so difficult. You cannot, you, like, you, there's, you can't hack it. Even, like, VPNs, you cannot get in. So, how do you watch Euphoria? Uh, that was on SkyGo. Oh, it's on, like, a different network. Like, you really don't have HBO. We don't have HBO. It's so annoying because there's so many things that I want to watch. Okay, well, you have to watch Girls. Okay. You have to. I'll binge I, it while I'm here. You No, like, you don't understand. Like, and are you going to go to New York? Aren't you going, are you going to New York soon? Yeah. It takes place in New York. Cute. So I love watching things that take place in New York. It takes Last place in I Brooklyn. Girl. Oh. Did you do it? Were you, were you re watching or watching for the first time? I'm still watching for the first time. The first time ever? Mm -hmm. It's the best show of all time. Were you a Skins girly? Uh, yeah. Who's your fave? Effie. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I like, <coughs> I remember when it, the reboot came out on MTV, they did like an American reboot and I was like, yeah, it was bad. I was like 10 years old and I'd never seen Skins before. 
and I put it on and I was <coughs> so fucking traumatized. Like panic attack at the dinner table. Like do people live like this? The US version. And then I watched the UK version to be like, maybe I gave this a, didn't give this a fair shot. No. I was, I need to give it a shot now because obviously I've lived a lot more life than since I was 10. But watching that at 10 years old actually scarred me for life. I was like, I didn't know people did things like this. I've never seen the US version, so I do not know what you're talking about. Isn't there a scene in the first episode where this guy's parents like go away for a weekend and then he throws like a really big party there and then it's like all alone? In the UK one? Yeah. Isn't in the first episode of Skin, Skins ever? Or yeah, like ever. I've only seen one generation. Gener- what? There's they different gener- generations? Yeah, is it still the going point on? Of skins is their sixth formers. I'm pretty sure. What does that mean? Uh, that's oh, what the fuck is it called? Junior and senior year. In the UK, it's a different thing. It's called sixth form. Oh, so it's like your guys is Degrassi. Mm, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Same thing. Okay, but. Um, yeah, I think you need to watch Girls after this and I'll watch Skins. Okay, deal. Because I, no, like, deal. You need to watch Girls, it's the best show, but that's what I prescribe to you because Marnie is, like, actually being love-bombed so hard by this guy named Charlie. Like, wait, let me just explain to you why you need to watch (laughs) Girls. Like, the storyline with Charlie, like, you're gonna be like, okay, this doesn't matter, I'm over it. No, it gets brought back around in such a, have you seen Girls? No. What? I didn't want to Oh my God. It gets like, I'm seriously like I have chills talking about it. Like it gets brought back around in one of the most cutthroat, bittersweet ways I've ever seen in my entire life. Like it is the most beautiful show I've ever seen in my life. Okay. That's my girl's feel. Sorry. (laughs) I saw a to-do list on my ex's fridge. I was over to get some clothes and it said, buy Sarah a V-Day gift. Sarah is my best friend. (gasps) (laughs) I don't read these before. Really? That is fucking darkness ruin their lives. That is deranged. Ooh, sorry. On the fridge as well. That's fucked up. Bring Sarah a Vita gift. I'd take a photo of it. Obviously, take a photo of it. And I hope to God you did. And show Sarah and be like, no, actually, no. I always say men fold easier than women. So she needs to go to the guy first and be like, Sarah told me everything. Oh, smart. Yeah. And... Record the conversation. You just, you got to do it. Even if it's mumbled, in the pocket, press record. Just, like, have a personal backup. And then go to Sarah and be like, um, blah, 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 told me everything. We are not friends anymore. Mm. That's what I would do. What would you do? Ooh. If it's actually my best friend, I think I would, like, show up. Like, on Valentine's Day. Like, play a bit of a long game. Like, actually go. Like, I'm coming as well. That is smart. Well, they don't have a date though. He's just getting her he's a getting gift. He's getting her a gift. Ew, so which one of you is he taking on the date? Not no, it's none of them. No, he's taking his fr he said, I saw a to-do list on my ex's fridge. I was over to get some clothes and it said buy Sarah a V Day gift. Sarah oh, is my it's best her friend. Ex. Yes, it's her ex boyfriend and it says Why were you at his house? Because she was picking up clothes, she says. Kay. So she says. But it, I believe got you. It, got it, got it, got it. I have a listening issue apparently. No, it that it's a thing about this room. <laughs> Am I wrong? No one can. There is so fucking much to look at. I know. And it's the Celsius. Seriously? (sighs) This has to be just not okay. (laughs) I'm like upset about it. I'm not going to lie. And honestly, while we're talking about the room, I have to introduce you to, because she's yelling at me, Pissandra. (laughs) Hey, babe. Say hi to Madeline. Sorry, she's like so, like you were literally just asking to say hi. Now she's not being energetic. But that's Pissandra. And if you could write, rate your day on a tense up to tense down scale, tense down or tense up, how would you rate it? My day so far? Yeah. It's only 1 p.m. I, mean, I, I know, but with the Celsius, like doesn't it feel like 4? Yeah, I'm sweating. Like I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, like this. A tense ten, up? Tense up. Oh. Well, yeah. I aspire to have your positivity every day. Are you having a tense down day? Always. A little bit Always. Hurt. I'm always in a bad mood. That's horrible. I'm always in a bad mood. Am I? Something's always wrong. And but it's just, lovely. it's just how I'm wired. It's just how it, it works. Okay, yeah. So what I would do is I would prescribe you a smear campaign for your ex-best friend, ex-best friend, and your ex-boyfriend. Like, <laughs> let them be in love. It's disgusting. Like, she's a bad friend. That's what I prescribe you. Ew. What do you prescribe? I like the smear campaign. I know. Smear campaigns are like the shit. Yeah. When it, they're warranted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can. Mm. 
I cannot get rid of my UTI. It keeps coming back. And I've been hooking up with this guy, but I'm pretending it's serious. What? Because I'm lonely. Okay. I've been pushing through sex because I don't want to tell him. Oh, okay. Um, Is she okay? <laughs> Anyways, I already down. asked this guy to be my Valentine, and I'm so worried it's just going to fester. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I missed the third page. <laughs> my roommate's ex is coming to visit for Valentine's Day. She asked me to go get rose petals for the bed. So alone. Anyways, I already asked this guy to be my Valentine, and I'm so worried it's just going to fester. Okay. Call me crazy. I don't really understand the correlation between the UTI and asking him to be your Valentine. But that is just me personally. <laughs> I really don't. So I'm just like struggling where to like I find the proper highway to give you advice to. But do you have any notes on this? Like when she says I'm worried it's going to fester, does she mean the UTI? That's what I picked up too. But I think she meant her. The word fester is not sitting well with me. You know what? All. I'm Speaking of sitting, let's sit with this one for a minute because I want to just give this time to think about <laughs> maybe we'll switch from the valentine's day one to the regular ones. am i being okay yes, you're doing great. okay cool <laughs> like no madeline Honestly, like I love your energy i've energy. never really ever done it. this like i've never been this hyper before <laughs> in my life i, I feel it. Like, seriously I, and i'm if you can tell i'm so anxious also that i am so uncontrollably hyper so like it's just like a mess over here and madeline it's like the craziest. Really? I feel like I'm going quicker than I normally do. Maybe oh, not. Maybe I'm usually really slow. No, that's the that's that that's how you should feel. Kay. Okay. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> Tell me what's uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm not okay. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Tell me what's wrong. <laughs> My neighbor and I have been hooking up on and off again for the past two years. We only think about each other romantically when we're drinking, but when we're sober, we friend zone each other. Okay, so my life. He's the nicest guy I know, and we talk all the time. Is it worth per is it worth pursuing a relationship, or should we stay friends? How should I approach the situation with him? It sounds like she's got the perfect situation. You like you think that's a. That sounds situation. good to me, yeah. Like, no feelings. Well, it sounds like she's got feelings, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's be honest. You have feelings for him, and that's okay. But I think if she continues, like, hooking up, it's only going to end bad. So, like, she kind of has to decide. Why, though? Okay. Tell me. I feel like it's fine. Just keep hooking up with him. Like, I, that's perfect. But what if she, like, but so then, convenient. But the, I'm, I, I err on the side of anxiousness, and I feel my worry for her is that it's if he doesn't reciprocate the same feelings of wanting a relationship back and they've been hooking up, like, she's only going to get more hurt. So I'm just trying to help her protect her peace. But, like, I understand that, like, sometimes you can't do that. Oh, true. And then if he gets a girlfriend, like, she's going to have to see it. Yeah, because he's her neighbor. I don't know. I guess I prescribe. I like your approach of, like, just doing it and figuring it out later. So keep doing what you're doing, girl. Keep hooking up with him. and. It does sound like you're getting feelings, though, so, like, maybe gauge the vibes next time you're hooking up. But, like, maybe try to, like, be flirty. I would prescribe being flirty while sober once mm. and seeing how far that gets you. Like, if he gives it back, then okay. Like, there's something here. But if he's, like, super weirded out by it, then, like, maybe this just isn't for you guys. Yeah. That is my prescription. Or even ask him to dinner. That would be <gasps> nice. And then get drunk. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had the confidence that that elicits. <laughs> like, I can, I once, I asked someone to dinner once in my life. Once. And they responded, oh, my God, absolutely not. I have a boyfriend. Why did you just message me? I said, okay. I'm never doing this again. Really? Yeah. Are you like, do you do that? Yeah. Fuck. But it's because I don't care. Yeah. Like, I, Yeah. I don't know. You can reject me. I don't care. That? I want you to know how much confidence and, like, um, it's faith not, in yourself. It's ignorance. It, no, it's not ignorance, No, though. it is. It's co you're, like, comfortable in yourself, and, like, that is something you should be so proud of. Like, that's amazing. I'm not, though. I can. Really? I just, like, put it in a box. Okay. Lock the key. You 
repress. Yes. Okay, maybe I need to start doing that then because I need to start asking people to it's dinner really and not caring what they say. Oh, this one's this one sucks. My ex broke up with me for the college experience, but we go to the same school. <laughs> <laughs> so he wants to break up with you. Just tell everyone Period. that he has chlamydia. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love that. You have the upper hand because you go to the same school. Okay, so you know what you should prescribe them? John Tucker Must Die, because they do that in John Tucker Must Die. They tell the entire school he has an STD. Nice. Yeah. Have you seen John Tucker Must Die? No. <laughs> I, I didn't know what he was you. saying to me. Oh, it's the bad. It's like, it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a rom-com from like 2004. It has, have you seen Desperate Housewives? No. I've seen Defra- Desperate Housewives of Beverly Hills. Okay, you've seen the Real Housewives. Okay, mm-hmm. do you like like Real Housewives? Oh, is that what that's called, Real Housewives? Yes. Oh shit, yeah, I like that. What do you watch actually now that we're on the topic? Uh, Real Housewives. Mm-hmm. Um, Big Mouth. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, I watched Made recently. That was kind of. Hard I surgery. heard Made is great. It's so good. You know so what I'm watching good. right now is Griselda. Any of you? It's Ak amazing. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Have you ever seen Pitch Perfect? No. Ak, excuse me? Ak, <laughs> excuse me? Seriously, Griselda's amazing. Shout out Sofia Vergara. You ever watch Modern Family? Everything you say <laughs> is so American. No. Really? <laughs> yes. I know. It's bad. It's It's pretty bad. I won't lie. See, I'm like, I want to find like a London lover, but like, I don't think I can because I am so not London to my core. Fair enough. Yeah. But I also kind of wanted a London lover because have you ever seen Normal People? Oh my God, yeah. That takes place in London, right? Or am I Ireland? That would be Ireland. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Quite different. Have you been to Ireland? No. Oh, Uh, wait, shit. Yeah, I have. It's beautiful. (laughs) Have you seen pictures? Yes, it's absolutely so gray and beautiful. Like Dublin? Google. What's the other one? There's Dublin and there's what? Um, Dublin. <laughs> I was looking at an article about all the European central cities. Most of them had very lo- had a very lovely drone shot of the city or a picture of some beautiful buildings. The best they could do for Dublin was a street level picture of Temple fucking Bar. That's all Dublin has to offer: Temple Bar and a giant fucking spike. Sorry, it continues. All the other European capitals are filled with architectural masterpieces, and all we have, oh, so they live in Dublin, is a red pub that charges you for a left nut, charges you a left nut for a pint. Change my mind. Okay, no, never mind. We're not going to get into this Reddit thread, but um, <laughs> I still stand by the fact that I want to go to Ireland because I want to find my Paul Mescal. But Fair enough. That's he, just is me. he Irish himself, Paul Mescal? I think he's, no, he's not. Do you know? He was okay. Okay. I he's think so hot. He is everything to me. Yeah. But I, yep, knew it. But wow. I liked normal people because I liked that they lived in like this small town and it was like so quaint and it looked my favorite part about like European small towns anywhere. Ha- have you been to like a small town in America? Uh yeah. They don't feel as much as like homey small towns as they do in like Europe. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm in a small town. Yeah. When I'm in Europe, it was this. Does this make sense? Does anyone know what I'm saying? Here, I'm like, I feel like I'm always connected to a city somehow, and it like doesn't feel like a small town. Yeah, I feel like cause it's because we have like villages, like old. Yes. Villages. Yeah. God love a village. Dead <laughs> ass. Seriously. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, so your ex broke up with you, but you go to the same school. You said John Tucker must die. How do we get here? Chlamydia. Yeah, chlamydia. <laughs> Um, yeah, I prescribed to you John Tucker Must Die and maybe a trip to the English countryside. <laughs> is, yeah. When my boyfriend and his friends go out, they think it is funny to end the night going to the strip club. I have talked with my boyfriend about how I don't like him going. Although my tone was kind of joking, I felt it did get the point across that I truly didn't like it. Well, this is past Saturday. He went out with his friends, and when he saw me next on the Tuesday at his little cousin's birthday, so we were at a family event, he told me they went to the strip club again. How do I handle the situation? Just be like, you're really annoying me. Seriously, at this point, you can't go anymore. I would just go. You would go to the club. No, like I would go to like what, like Magic Mike, like yeah. You would go to a male strip club and see how he feels. Yeah. Okay, that's what we prescribed to you, Chippendales. Why does he have something for everything? What the fuck is <laughs> Chippendales? Chippendales is. Do you know what Chippendales yeah, is? It's a strip club. 
Okay. I am just like a lockbox of like pop culture information. It's so funny. Yeah, but we prescribe to you Chippendales. And you know what? Yeah, that's what we prescribe to you. <laughs> I think my dad has been hitting on my boyfriend. I know I sound fucking insane, but I feel like something's going on between them. When we came over for Thanksgiving, my dad insisted on sitting next to him and was making super uncomfortable jokes about him the whole time. Talking and joking a lot about our sex lives. Ew. And you know what? My dad also comes up and rubs his shoulders from behind. My boyfriend has told me he gets really uncomfortable by this, and I'm not entirely sure what to do. Should I bring this up with my dad or stay quiet? Holy fuck. I really don't know what to prescribe to you, but this needs to be handled. Whew, that just gave me so much anxiety. Like, I hate dealing with things, and, like, that is something that just, like, absolutely needs to be dealt with. <sighs> what do you think? I don't know. Yeah, right? Because what the fuck do you do? Are you going to talk to your dad? Hey, dad, do you want to fuck my boyfriend? Like, yeah, I would be like, wait, something. Because the dad would just be like, well, that's not true. But it, it, I mean, like, maybe you'd need to have the conversation so he knows that people are noticing and, like, it's weird. I feel like, how do you bring that up, though? You can't. You can't. You might just have to suffer. I think that's the advice. Yeah, and, like, as long as your boyfriend doesn't want to fuck your dad, like, it's, I guess, like, that's so fucking awkward. I feel like there's no cure. There's no cure. Ew. But, like, why is he talking about her sex life? Like, that's gross. He asked his daughter about their sex yes, life? he jokes about it. That's what she's saying. Like, Oof. it's gross and he's weird. He, your dad sounds weird, respectfully. Let's get back to the Valentine's Day themed one. All my BFFs and I usually do a Galentine's together, but this year they all have dates. <gasps> me. Like, actually me to my core. Like, I totally get that, but I still have, like, a few single friends. I don't know what to, like, go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever been in that situation? Alone on Valentine's Day? Yeah. It's like, but because your other friends are also busy with dates. Yeah. My best friend is always in relationships. Fucking sucks. Really? Actually, yeah. Yeah. Like both my best friends. There's fours. They're always in relationships. Fuck. Mm. See, I have that same problem, but I still have a few single friends. So like I'm spending time with them on Valentine's Day. And I feel really bad for this girl, but I think what you need to do is, like, obviously take the night in, order in, watch a movie. If you cannot stand to be awake, I would take two Benadryl really early in the night at, like, literally 5 or 6 p.m. So you can just wake up and Valentine's Day will be over. So true. That's awful. Wait, Was really? Talking about I'm going to put a little legal <laughs> disclaimer here. Like, I please don't actually take my advice seriously for Benadryl, but, like, I will tell you that I do that all the time. So do with that information what you will. But, like, if I don't want to handle a night... I'll take a Benadryl to go to bed because I'm just like, I, I can't. Like, if I just want to wake up and have the next day start because I'm impatient, mm -hmm. it's like pressing fast forward. I do that with Phenogram all the time. I think that's how you say that. A what a what? I don't know what it is, but it takes me out. For like Phenogram? No, Phenogram. Fen 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 what is that? This is good. Wait, in the, in the UK, I was trying to find Benadryl over the counter to sleep. So funny, actually, that we're talking about this. I couldn't find it anywhere except for like, Sleepy aid. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's probably like melatonin. Don't know what it was. That shit knocked me out <laughs> so hard. Is that what that is? Because like no. it is over the counter and it knocked me out. You guys, like you don't sell Benadryl over there, but you sell something else. <laughs> yeah, so I prescribe um, not literally Benadryl to go to bed. Or I prescribe to you, like, a night in for yourself and you're, like, watching your favorite TV show and ordering in. But, like, I totally understand just, like, not even wanting to be awake for that. So, like, I would understand and not judge you if you did a Benadryl moment. moment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have any final words for her? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm sorry, though. Yeah, that sucks. You no, can be our Valentine. Fine. It's fine. They might have shit Valentine's Day. Exactly. And Valentine's Day is so commercialized at this point. Like, look what I'm doing. Like, it's, you know what I mean? Last Valentine's, my ex got so drunk that in the middle of the night, I, I walked in on him taking a shit in the men's dorm urinal. I was so down bad and I cleaned it up. That's insane because you didn't even have to clean it. Like, it's not <laughs> yeah. even your fucking bathroom. I have, like, actual chills. I'm so thankful that this guy is her ex. Oh, she said X. Yeah, she said my X, because yeah. that is so devastating to me. Why are you blacking out on Valentine's Day? Who parties on Valentine's Actually, actually, I think maybe I did a few years ago. But why are you blacking out on Valentine's Day? 
Especially if you're in a relationship. God, I would say I prescribe a breakup, but they seem to... Do they need advice? Do they just want to tell us that? Sometimes they just want to talk. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> you know, that's disgusting. But like I said... um, if you ha- okay, because in the last episode or a few episodes ago, we talked about how this girl, her coworker, shit on the floor of the office work party and like blacked out and like doesn't remember it. And I'm like, okay, this is now like the third time I've heard about a story like this. And like one of them's from my own experience, like seeing someone do that. So like I just would like to know like what the fuck goes through your mind. Like if you are a party pooper, like dead ass literally, <laughs> like what goes through your mind when that's happening? Like how do you feel when you wake up? Like I'm asking for personal research purposes because I'm like so fascinated. <laughs> yeah. I think that's insane. Isn't that insane? I've never been drunk enough to like. Ever. <laughs> ever. I, we were at my friend Brett's, I told this story a few weeks ago, her birthday party, and she walked out of her bathroom crying. There was 30 people in her home, max. I want to say maybe 20. She walked out crying because someone shit on the floor of her bathroom and just <laughs> went downstairs and continued pre-gaming. And we were, she, she was hysterically sobbing. We were like, so we think we know who it is because Brett says that she left the bathroom. But um, yeah, I just like want to know why, honestly, at this point. That, you know what, one time I was hanging out with, like, this is back when I had, like, big friend groups. I was, like, young, and there was uh-huh. ten of us. Oh, uh, like, those were the worst. Yeah, well, no, these girls are so sweet. Like, we don't really speak anymore, but, like, they're nice. Yeah. Someone <laughs> shit on the floor and <laughs> left the bathroom and came back to the function. And then someone else went in there, and they were like, oh, my God, guys, like, what the fuck? Someone shit on the floor uh. in here. And to this day, no one knows. Who did it? Who did it. No one knows who done it. Do you have like an assumption? I have my suspicions, but I'm not gonna say it. Okay, well totally, but like in your suspicions, we won't say the name. Like, do you are you like, yeah, no, I know it was them. Like I'm like so sure because I'm so sure that I like saw her go into the bathroom and then I didn't see anyone else like go that way. And then she came back and then the other girl went in and was like, guys, what the fuck? That's what happened to Brett. That's what happened to Brett. <laughs> we were like, obviously this bitch shit on the floor, because if she came out, she would have been like, Hey, there's shit on your floor. Like, no one would just step over that. (laughs) You know what I mean? I'm dead ass, you guys. I need to know the logic behind these people. Like, if that was me, I'd be like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. I just shit on the floor. Like, I need to clean up and I need to go home. Like, and I need to never show my face again. Like, I don't know how they just continue on. Like, it's bewildering to me. Also, I just don't know how you... Like, I guess some people are just, like, wired like that. Like, to do crazy things when they're drunk. But, like, I... Like, the drunkest I've ever been, I've just passed out. Like, I've not done anything insane. Ooh, I wish I could say the same. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> this guy I want to be my Valentine clearly knows I like him, and it's so embarrassing. So I panicked and told him I have been in Seattle. Oh, I have a boy. Oh, I panicked and told him I have a boyfriend in Seattle. Okay. So this guy, you want to be your Valentine, knows you like him, and you're embarrassed, so you lied and said you had a boyfriend in another state. Okay. It actually worked, and we are now pals. He definitely won't make the first move because he thinks you're dating someone because you lied. <laughs> so how do I make a story post about Valentine saying I'm single in a cool way? Smart. I mean, I really hope he doesn't listen to Therapist Girl because he'll definitely know now. <laughs> but what I would do is, like, go find, like, a little cute, like, cunty meme on, like, Betches or some, like, account like that about being single on Valentine's Day and, like, throw that up. Or, like, maybe what I would do this is my prescription, is find, like, an old 2000s rom-com Pinterest-y movie quote about being single on Valentine's Day, like, from the house bunny or, like, something like that, like or, like, in Legally Blonde when she gets broken up with, like, her throwing popcorn at the thing. Put that on your story, and, like, if he doesn't catch the hint, then, like, no, it's not. You just end the lie and maybe try again later. Yeah. That's my prescription. I think that's really smart. Really? Yeah. That's this exactly is the first what time I you, would do yeah. if I had fucked up like that. 100%. Like a cute little, not like a quote, but like a little like Pinterest and moment. It's good because it gives her a chance to post a really sexy like post cry puffy face. Right back in because I'm actually curious how this is going to work out for you. I lied about having a boyfriend that lives in Seattle. That's your code word. Use it and you LMK girl. All right, this is the final one. Are you ready? <laughs> I feel like I just put you through hell. Well, we have to revisit <laughs> the girl with the burning UTI. Oh! Festering UTI. 
can't leave her hanging. <laughs> Probably took a lot of confidence for her to write that. In high school, I found out my boyfriend only asked me out on a date. <laughs> on, oh, only asked me out on a dare. I'm like, only? Like, what do you want him to do? Buy you a house? In high school, I found out my boyfriend only asked me out as a dare. So on Valentine's Day, I was way too upset for this loser, but went up to him and slapped him hard. Um, okay. And? That's I'm it. just gonna just, I, men suck. Ew, it's disgusting. So you called him your boyfriend, but it only sounds like they had been on one date. Because he asked her out as a dare. So did they progress to being boyfriend, girlfriend? Or was that like, uh, this one's confusing. This is not going to be our last one. <clears throat> I guess that was our last one. <laughs> so um, let's revisit the UTI one, shall we? Okay. We're going to reread this for the pussies who have maybe joined us later or just forget like me. I cannot get rid of my UTI. It keeps coming back, and I've been hooking up with this guy, but I'm pretending it's serious because I'm lonely. I've been pushing through sex, but I don't want to tell him. My roommate's ex, also on a different note, is coming to visit for Valentine's Day. She asked me to go get rose petals for the bed. So alone. Anyways, I already asked this guy to be my Valentine, and I'm so worried it's just going to fester. I hate that word. I still don't know <laughs> if you're talking about your romance or your UTI. I think she's talking about the UTI. What does fester mean? Have you been like laughing along this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, like you don't want to take care of, you need to take care of your UTI, but you already asked this guy to be your Valentine and you don't want the UTI to continue on. Oh my God. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, girl, I would put your health first. Dead ass. And don't just do this because you're lonely. That's my <laughs> prescription for you. Why does he keep giving her UTIs, though? Like, I'm No, concerned. like, she has a UTI and, like, keeps having sex through them and, like, um... I, I took it as he keeps giving her them. Every time she fixes it, she gets another one. Mm. Mm. I feel like we need more information. We need a little more information, but if you're worried about your UTI festering, like I would definitely put your health first and like not have sex with this guy on Valentine's Day just because you're lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Okay, well, because you're here from London, I wanted to play this or that with you. Like, do you prefer this in LA or this in London? Okay. Is that okay with you? That's okay with me. Okay. This or that. Um, grocery stores, London or LA? Ooh, LA. Why? Oh, my God. Grocery stores in England are so depressing. They are. They're really gray and horrible. I is Marks them. and Spencer supposed to be? Yeah. Huh? I just didn't expect that to come out your mouth. <laughs> no, I'm knowing. Itsu, Wagamama. Oh, my God. Yo Sushi. Kind of sexy when you do it. Really? Mm. Thank you. China Tang. I don't know what that is. It's amazing. <laughs> Aka amazing. <laughs> um, have you been to Air One yet? Yeah. Thoughts? Love it. Yeah. I, I actually left empty handed because I got really overwhelmed. But I like that they have valet. Yeah, it's fucking luxurious. And the valet guy gave me a free water. That's my favorite thing about LA is that the most mundane things are somehow the most luxurious. Like luxurious. Like in New York, the luxury part of New York, like the really like nice part that like you kind of just get is like the nightlife. Mm. Like that's where like they like it, I feel like invest a lot of their time. And like in LA, like it's the gym and the grocery store. True. Because no one wants to go out. Okay, this or that, London or LA, traffic. Uh, uh, London, I think. No, wait, you must be kidding. The traffic in London made me really question living. Like, that was the gnarliest thing I've ever been put through. Really? Yeah. I it's, don't know. I feel like it's not that bad. I don't in, go in anywhere. In central London, though. it's really bad. In central London, yeah. But you know what you guys don't have that pisses me off? What? Roundabouts. Yeah, we don't, do we? Why? They're so convenient. Like, they make traffic go quicker because... What is a roundabout exactly? I don't drive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how the fuck do you describe it? It's like a circle in the road that the cars go round and, like, you just give way. If someone's coming, you just don't go. And then the second there's a spot to pull out, you go. And there'll be, like, three, okay. four, five exits. Like, right. But so you guys have crossroads with traffic lights. Right. Okay. So then so you have to wait your turn. Yeah. So London is better for traffic, it seems. I think. Nightclubs. 
I haven't gone out here. So fun then. Yeah. That's the obvious answer too. Is it? The nightlife here isn't great. Mm. Coffee or tea in London or LA? I think coffee here is definitely better. Uh, yeah, I get that. Yeah. You guys like obsessed with it. It's, it's coffee shops everywhere. It's everything. One time I was in London for the... Okay, like, I don't know if this was, like, a thing, how hot it was, but I've never been so hot in my life. It was one of the most intense heat waves I've ever been through, and I was, it was, like, a, re- it was, like, two summers ago. What, in London? Yeah. It's fucking crazy, because there's no air con. There's no air con. There's and, nowhere to cool uh, There's also no ice. Oh, yeah. I walked into a pret and I was, like, can I get <laughs> ice? <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. pret Again. pret So close. Is it pret No. pret yeah. Well, it said they had iced coffee on the menu, so I was like, okay, can I have an iced coffee? And they were like, what are you talking about? I was like, no. So not only do you not have air conditioning, you don't have iced coffee, even though it's on your menu and we're in a heat wave. It was one of the most intense things I've ever dealt with in my life. So yeah, I would assume that the coffee is better here, but tea, I assume, is better in London. I don't know. I haven't even tried any tea out here because I just can't be bothered. I don't like tea. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. I know. I can't get into it. Okay, fast food. Oh, here, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't like it. You, you said In-N-Out wasn't your fave? Like, no. It wasn't that good. Yeah. But you guys just have more options here, which I appreciate. Although the McDonald's here is not as good. in As the one in London. Yeah. I haven't tried McDonald's here, to be fair. But, like, I tried it when I was, like, 13, and I remember thinking it was fucking disgusting. Yeah, like, I definitely. Rotting. I think that I think the fast food is, it, is, like, better food quality in London. I'm trying to think of the... F- places i would go to in london for fast food i kind of forget honestly there like aren't any yeah there aren't any i don't oh i had nando's once that was good is that fast food that's not fast it's fast casual (laughs) (laughs) okay i didn't know that was a choice (laughs) it's fast casual fast food fast casual is like i don't know how to describe it it's just like a little step up do you guys have nando's here no i wish it's really good though it's really i really liked it when we had it i can't i feel like i haven't had I'm trying to think of, like, London chains that, like, what are some London chains? I want to know if I, like, went to hit the spots. Mm -hmm. Do you like it, too? I've never been. Ugh! It's amazing. I remember Alfie Day's always used to. Do you know who that is? Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Do you know who that is? Who? You look like you would have liked Alfie Day's. I don't know how Who's Alfie Day's? Like, like, British. I know who Zoe. I know Zoella. Yeah, her, her, her husband. husband. Yes, okay, I know who this is now. Okay, I yeah. know who this yeah. is now. And he used to go to Itsu. I love yeah. Itsu. I like Wagamama. It's way better in London than it is here. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you have Wagamamas here? Like, yeah. <gasps> I had my birthday party there once in high school. Okay. And I got there and they did not have my reservation under. And it was like 10 people. And I actually, it was the worst moment of my life. Um, <laughs> This or that? Dating. Dating? Yeah. I've only ever dated in London, so I have to go with London. Okay. Live shows, music, comedy, etc. Oh, never been anywhere. I'm going to tell you right now, London's better. You've never been to a live show, period, or you've never been? Period, I think. A concert? No. But you've... Ne- That's really bad. I went yeah. to, I did not camp. I went to Glastonbury. Okay, so you have been to okay, a concert. Fine. fine, but I only went to one show. That was the <laughs> only show you've ever seen? <sighs> I saw a uh, Lynn Gunn in concert when I was like 14. Oh, so you She's like so don't awful. go to live shows, really? No, I guess not. That's so pathetic. What's no, it's not, but me? I think you would really like them. And I'll tell you right now, LA is not the place to start. The best live shows are in London oh, and Europe. Really? Yeah, they're like, London's known for having great crowds. Like when I've, you know, like Wireless Festival? Oh, no, I, yeah, no, I could, yeah. Yeah, like, 100%. always. Like England, New Zealand, Australia, like they're the good crowds. They just like don't care about anyone else in LA. It's a very, like everyone's like hyper aware of everyone around them and it's like not a vibe. Mm. Okay, this or that. Parties. Never been. Yeah, so yeah. London. Tourism. I feel like tourism in London is really good. Yeah, I think so too. It's fun. Like you get it, like there's things to see. What the fuck is there to see in LA? No offense. The sign. That's it. Some houses. No, there's nothing to see in LA. I did get I did take a tour the last time I was here. 
I went on one of the Beverly Hills tours. Did you actually? <laughs> on like the TMZ bus? <laughs> I don't know what it, yeah. Was it fun? Know. When was I the last time yeah. you were here? Uh, last, late last year. When did I move here? Like October maybe? Yeah, that's my favorite time in LA. Favorite, really? not just because it's my birthday, but that does play a big part in it being my favorite time in LA. Um, okay, well, what did we learn today, you think, in the course of the Tell Me What's Wrongs? What was our biggest takeaway? Because I have mine. I think I learned like 50 new words. Really? Yeah. Is there any that stood out to you? Uh, was the one that he keeps saying, Aka? Aka. Yeah. Aka amazing. It's like a prefix. A- Aka, excuse yeah. me. It stands for acapella. So have you seen Pitch Perfect? I got that it stood for acapella. I just don't know why. Because in Pitch Perfect, they're like really big acapella people. And they say, Aka, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's Aka amazing. <laughs> so I just, me and my friends kind of adapted that. So cute. Yeah. So I guess what we you took away is the new word um, or the new prefix Aka. And what I took away was that um, you should always put, like, if you're like considering having sex with a guy, but like, We actually, maybe no, that's not what I took away. Oh, what I took away is I'm still very curious how one shits on the floor of a party and continues partying without making it a big deal. So if that has happened to you, please, I'm begging you right in and tell me your story. I've never been more curious for anything in my entire life. Madeline? Maybe you'll get the actual girl that did it. I'm begging. (laughs) I would pay money. I'd pay money and I'd send you merch for life. Madeline, thank you so much for coming on. Did you have fun? I did. Okay, promise. (laughs) <laughs> I love you. Can we go now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Thank really you. fun. That was was that really good? Fun. Oh, fuck, I forgot oh, one yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, I just, I always forget, you guys. Da, 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 da. Oh, your session's up. Thank you for joining us at Therapist today with the queen, Madeline, who is the coolest person ever. Thank you for coming on, Madeline. You are the best. I love you. Hi, pussies. Put your tents up. Put your tents up. Tents up. Smart cookies.